Point Loma, California, and we decided to make a little visit over to our Trader Joe's store. And we want to show you everything that we got. This isn't necessarily what we get every time we go to Tr Trader Joe's, but we are on vacation, so we kind of splurged a little bit and got our favorites. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, the very first thing we're going to talk to you about is the produce that we got. Of course, whenever we go to Trader Joe's, we get a million bananas. They're 19 cents each. So we got um, a couple bunches of those. The sweet potatoes are hands down my favorite sweet potato on the planet. You can boil these in a pot of water or put them in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And they literally taste like pudding. They do, they're so good. Uh, lemons are always good to have on hand when you want uh, to make hummus or anything like that. Tomorrow we're going to go to Disneyland and we wanted to have some snacks for on the go. So we're going to make wraps, hummus wraps, and this cabbage is going to go inside. Whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I always grab a bag of these. They come in three, each color, uh, red, orange, yellow, organic bell peppers. Over here we have apples. Um, of course, we always buy organic apples and they're sweet and crunchy and tasty. Broccoli is a major staple in our house. We're gonna try using these in the air fryer this afternoon, so we'll let you know if those are any good. We got some micro greens to go in our wraps for tomorrow at Disneyland. And then this salad here is one of Taylor's favorites. Yeah, I love this salad. If you're in a crunch, it is so good. It's the tahini pepita apricot slaw kit. So good. Oh, and then kale is another great one. I love having kale salads, throwing this in my smoothie. Mm -hmm. When I put it in my salad though, I do like to massage it with a little bit of lemon and salt and pepper and it just makes it just so delicious. So moving on to the cold stuff now, we picked up two of the new hummus that they are carrying at Trader Joe's. Taylor has already done a review of the Buffalo style hummus. We'll link that down below so you can check that video. And then we also picked up the spicy avocado, which I have not tried. Have you? I have not. And to go with the hummus, um, in addition to putting in the wrap, these are our absolute favorite oh. organic corn chips, if you like Fritos, yeah. these are a great alternative because they are organic. The only ingredients in them are organic corn, organic sunflower oil, and sea salt. They are so good, I will eat the whole bag. This is my favorite thing in the whole world, and my little boy Ari, who's the most picky eater on the planet, loves this stuff. It's vegan pesto, and it is so good over like roasted veggies, just on pasta, um, smeared in a wrap, whatever. It is so good if you haven't checked this out. Go buy it. Oh, because we are on vacation, we splurged and got the Trader Joe's cinnamon rolls, which are vegan and ooey gooey yummy. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to try it. Yum. Yeah. I got this the other day because I've been hearing so much about it. Uh, everyone talks about it and I wanted to try it. It's the soy creamer cherry chocolate chip ice cream. We got the organic super firm tofu and we're gonna make chicken nuggets for the kids out of this and also we got the breadcrumbs to go alongside that. We're gonna try these in the air fryer as well. And we also got another block of it that we're gonna make um, scrambled eggs. Tofu scramble. Tofu scramble for breakfast. So fresh squeezed orange juice is so good, but when you don't have a juicer, grab this tangerine juice. It is so good. Um, it's non-pasteurized and the only ingredient in it is tangerine juice. Yeah, it's so good. And it has, it's kind of pulpy, so it really does taste like fresh juice. Sweet and tangy. This is something that I found recently, the olive tapenade, and it is so good. If you are an olive eater, yummy on crackers, on toasted bread, you could even throw it in a pasta. Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, marinating inside of olive oil, but it is so good. Yeah, I'll have to try that. I haven't had that yet. Maybe even on top of it like a be, hummus. Yeah, it would be good in our wraps tomorrow, maybe. Ooh. Kind of give it some tang. Actually, I bought these olives, these Kalamata olives for the wrap um, tomorrow. I thought that would be good inside of it, just to give it a little tang. So maybe this, have yeah. you had this before? Uh -uh, I haven't. Mm, maybe you should give it a try. Yeah, I think I will. Um, we also got capers because we're gonna make our famous oh. vegan Caesar salad tomorrow and capers are a secret ingredient in the dressing. So for breakfast, hash browns, these uh, hash browns. They're so good, just to put in a skillet uh, with some vegan butter. They get really nice and crispy and we serve them with the uh, vegan scramble that we're gonna make. Oats are always a good way to go for breakfast. They're healthy and filling. These cookies were a 
quite a fine. They're moist and yeah. soft. They keep their texture and they are delicious. They're the kids so love good. them. And then we're gonna take them with us tomorrow to Disneyland. Kids love to have cereal on hand, so we just got this uh, organic Gorilla Munch cereal. And then we have crackers to dip in hummus. Uh, we have a little bit of rice milk here, nutritional yeast, which is always good to have on hand when you're a vegan. The Trader Joe's rice milk is hands down the least expensive rice milk if you're a rice milk drinker. The grocery store sells them for about $3.99 for uh, a quart and Trader Joe's $1.99. We got some organic IPA. Um, and also one thing you should know is wine and beer is not necessarily vegan. They do use casein in the brewing process. So when I discovered this champagne, it totally blew my mind. It's so good. It's only $6.99 for this bottle and it is vegan. So this La Granja 360, Cava Brut, it's so good. And they sell it at Trader Joe's, $6.99, and it's vegan. Mimosa, oh, yeah. good morning, right Woo! here. <laughs> I think that's it, right? The nutritional yeah. yeast, I talked about. usually oh. buy that in bulk, but at Trader yeah. Joe's for this bag, $1.99. And it has a yummy flavor to it's it. So, it's like the cheesy cheese of vegan eats. We also got some uh, macaroni noodles. Trader Joe's has an excellent selection of pastas. And this is gonna go with our vegan pesto. All right, well that's it for our Trader Joe's haul, our vacation haul, I should say. The good thing about Trader Joe's artichokes is that you get four of them for $2.49, which is usually the price you pay for one in a regular grocery store. These sugar plum tomatoes literally taste like candy and I buy them every time. Their basil is another thing that you can buy in a big quantity for a cheap price. Speaking of a cheap deal, these teeny tiny avocados are only $2.99 and you get six of them and they are the perfect size. I love this habanero ghost pepper salsa. I use it on tacos and fajitas, anything Mexican. It is amazing. This basmati rice has the perfect texture, and I love using it in my curries, my Mexican food, and my fried rice. These grounds are a huge staple in our home. We are never without this. We use it in so many different recipes. I love it. One of our favorite things to do in the house is make homemade pizzas, and it's so easy when you already have the dough made, and the Trader Joe's pre-made dough is so good. Not only can you make pizzas, but you can do calzones and garlic knots as well. Stone ground corn, water, and traces of lime are the only three ingredients in these corn tortillas, and they are a must-have in our house. The lavash bread is great for wraps and also pizza. Their vegan cream cheese on top of one of their bagels is my easy go-to, get-out-the-door-fast breakfast. I never understood why people like tahini until I found Trader Joe's brand. It is so rich and creamy and yummy, and I try to use it in almost every single recipe. Oh my gosh, if you haven't had the creamy salted almond butter, you are missing out. Seriously, go get a jar right now. And unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of the Everything But The Bagel seasoning blend, which is so good on top of avocado toast. For nights when I need a quick easy dinner, I always keep the marinated artichoke hearts and their sun-dried tomatoes in my pantry. So good tossed with pasta. And speaking of pasta, you have to have the San Marzano tomatoes in your cupboard at all times for when you want to make the world's best spaghetti. We couldn't make this video without talking about their nuts and dried fruit section. You name it, they have it, and it is priced to buy. I did a review a couple videos back on the next two items and I will leave a link in the description box below if you'd like to check those out. But I do always have these in my freezer for those nights when I just don't want to cook anything from scratch. I love using this roasted corn on taco salad, enchiladas, stuffed peppers, or even just as a side. Whenever I go to TJ's I always grab a carton of the Earth Balance Organic Vegan Butter. This is my favorite milk substitute, Trader Joe's Unsweetened Almond Milk. I love using it in my oatmeal and in my morning smoothie. If you haven't tried having your morning cup of coffee with the Trader Joe's Organic Soy Creamer, you are missing out. I no longer have dry skin thanks to this 100% organic argan oil. 
Oats are a healthy, all-around great breakfast, and always grab a carton of the organic old-fashioned oats. If anyone knows me, they know that my favorite food is chips, and I love these three chips from Trader Joe's. The corn dippers, the tortilla rounds, and the blue corn tortilla chips. If you love corn nuts, then check out this healthy alternative. The giant Peruvian Inca corn pieces are so good. I love using this whole grain Dijon mustard in salad dressing, sandwiches, and even on wraps. And as we all know, walking into Trader Joe's, you can't ever leave without visiting the wine section. They have the best wines, the best beers, and the best prices. We love Trader Joe's. Okay guys, that's it for our Trader Joe's haul. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course, check out our Instagram page at Beaten Jeans for daily inspirations. Bye guys, happy cooking.